this is the first time I heard this question. It wasn't pre-planned, so I like <laughs> I like spontaneity there, JLD. Um, I would say that when you're successful, I think most people think your problems go away or they get less. And I think it's the complete opposite. I think success, part of success is figuring out how to solve bigger and more problems. And I don't mean that, that you know, if you're on your way to another level of success, you're like, damn, really? I, I thought this was going to go away. I think, um, Jim Rohn says, for things to get better, you have to get better, right? And I know Tony, my partner and dear friend, has adopted that mindset, but I think it's the same thing with being successful. For you to reach another level of success, you have to be the person in the room that deals with bigger and stronger problems and and harder problems and be excited about bringing them in bring them to me. I, literally, if I was sitting at a table and there was 10 people and I saw the, the happiest, their success, whatever success means to you, but if they were super successful in business and in life, in my head, I would be thinking to myself, wow, that person solves bigger problems than the rest of us. Well, listen, Biggie says mo money, mo problems. Dean says mo success, mo problems. So I think you're in good company <laughs> there for sure. Good company. But I want to talk about the time to thrive because we've been hearing about the upcoming winter and now it's arrived or it's at least arriving. So let's yep. talk about how to be bold and thrive during this economic winter. Here's the thing. If you've been in business or thinking of starting a business in 15 years or less, um, it's hard to even understand what that means in economic winter. We've had a pretty good run here, JLD, we have to admit, right? Big time. We've had a stretch where, you know, each year got better and it's weird to think, could it get worse and how bad could it get? And could layoffs really happen again? And could homes go into foreclosure again? And could prices drop significantly and, and should, and would it be harder for my business and all those, there, there's a lot of questions. And what I feel, um, what I feel is we had two years of uncertainty with COVID, right? I mean, some people found themselves during COVID. Some people's businesses thrived during COVID. Some people had a tough time, right? But it definitely caused uncertainty. It caused separation. It caused people to have to choose one way, mask, not mask, vaccine, not vaccine. And just when that's starting to become the norm, then an economic winter hits. We have inflation and high gas prices and interest rates going up and housing markets starting to slow and, and wars and, and more polarization and separation. And I think that uncertainty, first the tax, and the, again, it, steer me in any direction you want, JLD, because I want to serve Fire Nation today to the best of my ability. I want to make it worth your time. There's lots of things you could be listening to, but you're listening to John Lee Dumas yes. and Dean Graziosi right now. We want to make it worth your time. But I would tell you, in my experience, the thing that'll affect you the most and hurt you the most is we already have this uncertainty living in us. And when a recession or inflation or, what, or the combo of the two hit, it magnifies that. And I think it's a time where people don't, it, they don't go fight or flight. It's the third F, they freeze. So what I would say is it is better to anticipate and prepare than it is to react. So anticipate that things may get worse. Prepare that things will shift. But like Wayne Di or Wayne Gretzky says, you want to be a good hockey player, you want to skate to where the puck is going. To be able to have a confidence, to be bold, is be an investigative reporter. Re look into the past. Study history and figure out where things are going during a recession. What industries will thrive? What will change? Like Warren Buffett says, get better at what you're good at. You want to survive through a recession? Invest in yourself and get better at what you're good at. So I guess the question is how to be more bold is to fine tune yourself, your self talk, fine tune the story that's in your head and realize that if you have negativity and negative thoughts, that's going to have a magnifying glass on it for the next 12 to 24 months. So why not prepare, read, be enrolled, do whatever it takes. Like Tony Robbins says, get leverage to have a mindset of thriving during a shifting time rather than holding on tight and trying to survive. I want to steer this conversation to the everyday person's business model. So how will this model thrive even during an economic downturn? So if we talk about our industry, the, the industry you're in, JLD, that I'm in, where we get to impact people with our knowledge, our experience, our 
skills, our hobby, the the mess we went through when we're on the other side, right? Is the self-education industry, the e-learning industry, the course creator industry, the coaching industry, whatever you want to call it. Why will this thrive? If you go back to what Warren Buffett, I don't know if you had a chance to watch Buffett and Charlie Munger and their yearly address. Um, he said two things to get through inflation, no matter how much the dollar may get devalued or how bad a recession may get. He said two things. One, I already said it, get better at what you're good at, invest in yourself. Meaning, have people come to you, whether he said, whether you're uh, trading in Reichmarks, seashells, or a devalued dollar, if you're better at the uh, than the other people, you'll get more of it. So that was his first bit of advice. So think about that as you go through whatever business you're in or, or the business that we're going to be talking more about today, the self-education industry. But the second part is really key. He said, be a part of a business or start a business that has higher margins because with costs going up, if your margins aren't big, you could get squat, you know, gobbled up or swallowed with the cost of shipping, supply chain issues or cost of inventory going up. And why I love this industry and I've been, I was in this industry in 99 and I was in this industry in 07 and my partner Tony had one more recession before me, um, during a time like this, there, you know, your, your product, your inventory is your life experience. Your inventory is your skill, your hobby, your passion. You don't have to warehouse it. You don't have to ship it. You could sell it over and over. It impacts people in an amazing way and it creates success for you as a byproduct. You're selling your information. The first time I ever bought information was Tony 27 years ago off of an infomercial. It shifted my life. It's the reason I'm in this industry. So if I, if I look through the lens of Buffett, get better at what you're good at and be a part of a business with higher margins. I don't think there could be a better business than the knowledge industry, the information industry. In fact, you know, when Tony and I, we've been in it for 65 years combined between the two of us, you know, 25 and 45, almost 70 years. Um, but it wasn't always a cool industry, but even when we decided four years ago and, JLD, you were there with us yeah. when we decided to start teaching other people. This industry, this self-education industry, e-learning industry, uh, was about a hundred million dollar a day industry and growing. Right now, we're at about a billion dollar a day industry, and the latest report said we should be at about a trillion dollars a year by 2028. So, if we're in an economic winter, the self-education industry is in the springtime of its of its existence. Powerful stuff. And yes, I was there four years ago and I've seen what's transpired over these four years and how many people that you and Tony and the others have served and just the amazing things that have happened. And, you know, now during a shifting economy, there's a lot of bad moves and there's also a lot of good moves that Fire Nation could make. In your opinion, Dean, what's the number one move Fire Nation needs to make during this specific shifting economy? investigate, 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 investigate. Don't be stuck. Don't hunker down. Don't go into the goal and just play defense. This is not a time to stand still. You know, that saying, if you're not climbing, you're sliding. I know maybe I have too many cliches today, <laughs> but the fact of the matter is you can't sit around and hope things are going to get better. You can't wait for someone to save us. There's no one coming to save us. I don't care if you liked our, if you live here in the States, if you liked our last president or you like our current president or you hate both of them or you like both of them, have either one of them came into your home, your business and save things. No. So we can't wait for other people. That That's probably the, the number one thing I'd say. But the second part is if you're going to be an investigator and see what's working, Look into the digital product world. I, 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 of course, this is what Tony and I are sharing and what we're excited about and what the Time to Thrive Challenge is all about. But if you have a current business, if you don't have a digital product attached to it, what JLD is doing right now is a digital product. We're listening. I don't know what you're listening on your phone and or on your computer right now, but this is you're gaining knowledge and information digitally, right? This there's no inventory in this. It delivers massive value. You could sell it over and over again. So if you have a traditional business, investigate how to create a digital product alongside of it. If you're looking to start something new, investigate what it'd be like to create a course, a coaching program, a workshop, a mastermind. Figure out that you have, you know, most people think, well, I have nothing to share. I don't have a big following. All Both of which are, are untrue. And there's a lot of stories. There's stories in everything that you think about, right? We have to create a new story and then we have to investigate and learn from people who've already been there. Fire Nation, 
I hope you're taking notes because this is an individual who's been there and done that for 25 plus years in this industry, as he mentioned, and Tony Robbins for 45 plus years. I mean, think about the experience and what they've been through. I mean, this is another cycle. This isn't the end of the world. This is another cycle that if played correctly, we can make this happen. And we have a lot to talk about all around this when we get back from thanking our sponsors. As an entrepreneur just starting out or looking to scale up, it can be tricky to know which advice to follow. And if you've been thinking about making an online course part of your business, the Thinkific Trends Report is one of the most important things you'll read this year. The team at Thinkific analyzed the top 20% of creators to discover what they're doing differently to make them so darn successful. In this report, you'll uncover why top creators are two times more likely to use communities, three times more likely to sell courses and bundles, plus learn why it's time to say goodbye to the hard sell. I can say after reading it that this report is chock full of insights you can immediately put into action today because if you're still creating courses the same way you were five years ago, you might be missing out on some big opportunities. Discover which trends are powering the most successful creators in 2022, what their secrets are to growing their business, how they focus their time, and much more. Visit thinkific.com slash fire trends. That's T-H-I-N-K-I-F-I-C dot com slash fire trends. This year feels like the official return of conferences and in-person events, and I'm very excited to be speaking live on stage at this year's Inbound 2022 event in Boston. Inbound 2022 is happening in person and online September 6th through the 9th, and Kate and I would love to see you there. This year, the in-person experience will include festival-style stages, including the podcast stage, what's next stage, and the main stage. Aside from hosting a live interview on the podcast stage for Entrepreneurs on Fire, I'm fired up about the connections and inspiration that'll be all around us at this year's event. If you can't join us in Boston this year, there are several other pass options available, like the Starter Pass, which is your free ticket to the Spotlight Talent. Prices are increasing, and there are only a limited number of VIP tickets available, so be sure to check out Inbound 2022 today. Inbound 2022 is built by you, powered by HubSpot. Learn more or get your tickets now at inbound.com. Dean, we're back. And as I mentioned in the intro, we're talking about the time to thrive is now. I want to talk about thriving and how we can thrive in any economy using an asset we already have. The best part being it literally costs us nothing. What is this magical thing? It's your life experience. I mean, think think about this. I've said this before, JLD, and those of you that have been, you know, maybe you listened to our podcast a year ago, but I want to say it again. What if if self education, if learning from others, specialized knowledge isn't a part of your life already? Then I want to encourage you. If you get nothing out of this podcast, they take this. When we want to go to another level, when we want to run faster, fix our marriage, eat healthier, go keto, go plant based, do yoga, a million other things. The way the world has evolved or is evolving, instead of thinking, how do I get better at selling? How do I get better at going through this ugly divorce in a, in a more empathetic way? How do I find my purpose again? The how word is getting replaced by something so much more important. And I want to give you this gift. If you get nothing out of this, take this. Replace the word how with who. That has been the biggest secret of my life. When I wanted to learn and when I, I'm about to dive in to take my podcast to another level, the truth is I've been da- dabbling with my podcast for years and I feel blessed. There's still a half a million people a month listen, but now it's time to go to another level. When w- my team says, how do we go to the next level? You know what I thought of? Please reach out to John Lee Dumas. He is the who <laughs> he has been there. Let's pay him as a consultant. Let's buy a course. If he's got it, that's the way the world is evolving from how to who P- at the same time, People are thinking, I don't want to go back to college. I want specialized knowledge, not general knowledge. They're also thinking, I don't have time to learn on my own. Hence, learning from someone who's already been there, the self-education industry. This is a skill. I mean, think about this. When people say, well, I don't know, is my is my experience actually worth that much value? Of course it is. People don't want to try on their own. People don't want to take two years to figure out that, what you could share with them over a weekend through a mastermind, through a coaching program, through a course. The, the last thing I'll say, and again, you may have heard me say this, but it's, it's a game changer in my life. If you had a week to prepare 
And you could go back and spend a day with your 20 year old self on any topic on how to make money, how to make sure you find true love in your life, how to be healthier, whatever it is. Uh, How much would it be worth for you to go back and spend a day with your 20 year old self? I know the answer. I've asked hundreds of thousands of people. It's always priceless or millions, right? But here's the thing. You have knowledge, experience, or value right now that someone else feels like you at 20. They might be 60, but they're starting off on day one. That's how valuable your information is. Just most people have a blank slate. They don't know where to start. They don't know what to sell, who to sell it to, how to deliver it, how to package it. And that's why Tony and I work so hard and do these you know, free trainings to show people this is how you unlock it. This is how you share it. This is how you make it real. Dean, you mentioned fight, flight, or freeze earlier. And if we're being honest, a lot of people freeze in moments like we're experiencing right now. So let's, for once and all, share with Fire Nation why it's time to stop sitting on our hands and shift our thinking. Has anyone ever come along and saved you while you were just sitting and waiting? Listen, with a shifting world, everybody has uncertainty. I have uncertainty. Tony has uncertainty. Every, I mean, I was just with Ed Milet. I was with Tom Bilyeu. I've been with Jenna Kutcher. I've been with a lot of people. Maybe you know those names. Maybe you don't. But I was with a lot of people who are influencers who have done amazing things in your life, have sold businesses and in and, and lots of zeros at the end of it. That uncertainty and that fear is real. But, at the, but when I talk to the most successful people on the planet, what they're doing is getting off their hands and actually sitting up straight. This is a time we'll do more work. This is a time we'll investigate more because this is a time you can gain massive ground because most people are going to freeze. And, and I wish it's why Tony and I are screaming for mountaintops is don't freeze, gain capabilities, take uncomfortable action. But the fact of the matter is, really hear me, most people are going to wait to see what happens. And go back, Google it. Look at when the most wealth, abundance, and new companies are started. They're started during a down cycle. It's those innovators. It's those that find the right secrets, take uncomfortable action, and truly thrive. So I would, if I was you, if again, if you take anything from this, think of every time your brain says, what should we do to survive? I want you to stop that. So, no, no, stop that thinking. What can we do to thrive? Speaking of the word thrive, this is where I want to end with a bang on. You have Time to Thrive Challenge. This is going on August 2nd to August 6th. In Fire Nation, we have a very awesome and special URL for you, thrive135.com. That's thrive135.com. But hey, we got Dean on the mic right now. He's the guy that's going to be rocking this challenge along with many, many other amazing people. I mean, I'm actually holding right now the catalog you sent to me and I'm just looking at these faces and they are unbelievable. So talk to us about this challenge. Talk to us about what you have going on this year in general and let's get a strong call to action for Fire Nation to be present for this. I guess the best call to action would be if anything I shared today evoked an emotion, a thought, could this be, is this possible? I've tried and failed. I thought about being a coach. I am a coach. I'm not making enough or I never thought about it, but God, I'd love to see about it. Then you must come because here's the thing. It's Tony Robbins, myself, and we have some amazing guests. We even got Matthew McConaughey coming, which I think is incredible (laughs) because he, when he wrote green lights, one of my favorite books of this year, he entered the self-education industry. It's got nothing to do with him being an actor and he's delivering a process, a philosophy on how to get through tough times, turn it into a green light rather than a red light, right? So we have him coming in and, you know, Russell Brunson and Jenna Kutcher and some amazing, amazing, Brandon Bouchard, so many amazing people coming who once thought selling what they know was kind of like, ah, oh, that's for other people. And now they are thriving and our whole five days is created to show you Why now? Why you? Why this? Identify what you should be offering, who you should be offering it to, how to sell through elegant service, and then how to build a following. And during those five days, get rid of all the limiting beliefs. Get rid of the stories you're telling yourself and see see that right now is a time to be entering this industry, whether that's bolting on a digital product to your current business or creating this from scratch or stop dabbling because you've been waiting too long to get successful. It's not kind of free. It's completely free and it's unbelievable. I, I think we'll put a million people in this Wow! and it's our goal to change the world. I mean, this is going to be a scary time. 
there's no question about it. And if you know anything about my partner, Tony, you know, the first two years we did this, John, you were with us. Oh yeah. Um, and we did it as a three hour training and literally last year, Tony said, it's not enough. We got to give people five days. It's about 90 minutes. The days Tony are on, which are day, you know, one, three and five. I think it's a little longer cause he likes to over deliver, but you will leave with a plan. You will leave with a plan of saying, thank you. This isn't for me, which I think most of you won't. I believe most of you say, wow, this is for me. And I'd hate for you to miss it. I believe this might be the last one we do. And uh, you're right. It's on August 2nd. Uh, it's going to be spectacular. Fire Nation, look at these names. Tony Robbins, Dean Graciosi, Russell Brunson, Lisa Nichols, Jenna Kuchar, Brendan Bouchard, Matthew McConaughey, Alex Hormozzi. I mean, the list goes on. And this is access to these individuals for free. This is August 2nd to August 6th. Thrive135.com. That's Thrive135.com. Get there as soon as you're hearing my words so you can register and you can start getting prepped because Dean's team does a fantastic job prepping you for these things. There's going to be some material, no doubt. There's going to be some things you can do to maximize the August 2nd through August 6th challenge and every day will be worth your time. I can guarantee that being a part of this for four years now and just seeing you know what quality content and value all these individuals deliver with Dean at the forefront here. So Dean, one final takeaway, one last value bomb, and then we'll say goodbye. I want to reiterate everything we said today. I hope you attend. It's going to be pretty spectacular. And if you know anything about Tony, day one gives you a mindset that we all need. But here's what I would just say, more than ever before in your life, watch your thoughts. The news is getting worse and worse. Your friends' insecurities and uncertainty is gonna get worse and worse. The conversations at your at your office, at your job, around the kitchen table is gonna change and it is really easy to fall into being scared and uncertain. And I just am gonna challenge you to identify that thinking and find a way to replace it and realize your family needs you more than ever before and you have a next level hero or whatever you wanna call it that's living inside of you, your full potential, and there's no better time in history to unlock it, so do whatever it takes to do so. Fire Nation, you're the average. Of the five people you spend the most time with, you've been hanging out with DG and JLD today, so keep up the heat. Head over to eofire.com, type Dean in the search bar, the show notes page will pop right up. Your direct call to action, thrive135.com. That's thrive135.com. Join us on Time to Thrive Challenge, August 2nd to August 6th. Dean, thank you for sharing your truth, knowledge, your value with Fire Nation today. For that, we salute you, brother, and we'll catch you on the flip side. See you guys. Hey, Fire Nation. Today's Value Bomb content was brought to you by Dean, and we've always been on board to support Tony and Dean's launches in years past. And as I mentioned in a prior interview with Krista, we are making way for a new entrepreneur on fire to Rocket. I'll be coaching her as she guides her ways as an affiliate this year, and I'm excited to share all the value that we're putting together for you to make this a year you won't forget. So I'll catch you there, or I'll catch you on the flip side. Still think you can create an online course the same way you did five years ago? Think again. Thinkific has looked at the top 20% of course creators to see what they're doing now to be so darn successful. Find out for yourself at thinkific.com slash fire trends. Business Made Simple, hosted by Donald Miller, takes the mystery out of growing your business. Recent episodes like how to attract and retain top talent and how to make more money with your current products are straight fire. Listen to Business Made Simple wherever you get your podcasts.